Good afternoon everybody, it is I, Steve, with Happy Heart Treasures. My apologies ahead of time, but there is no Donna today. Donna is getting ready and leaving to go out west with her mom to see family out there. We have some cool things, we have some fun things going out. We have some fun little interesting facts or stories or whatever. Um, things to ship out. We have another Bonanza sale. We have a sale that sold in nine minutes. I actually posted it. When I posted it, I told Donna and her mom, I said, hey, what time is it? And they told me and I said, let's see how fast it takes. And I hit post and it sold in nine minutes on eBay. We're going to show that. And, you know, just some other stuff. See if we get any new states today, stuff like that. But I am kind of tired. We're going to get through this. I think we have 15 things on eBay, one thing on Bonanza, and one thing from a live we were on a couple nights ago. So let's just get into this. I'm not the most entertaining, electric, or charismatic person, and I'm okay with that. But if you stick around and help me get through this, you know, at least I'll feel like I'm talking to somebody and maybe I can say something that will slightly entertain you or at least make you think, I don't know of what, but um, so here we go. We're just going to start grabbing things. First of all, we got a book set that we bought at a garage sale last weekend. It is right here. We went to a garage sale. Donna pointed it out to me and I said, yeah, that's probably good. We talked about this in one of the videos, maybe last week and maybe the weekend before. Paid $3 for that, and this sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next up in box Q, we have something that we got for 25 cents. All right, here in box Q, I don't really know what I'm looking for. This was a Donna thing, here it is. This is a Cricut font cartridge, and Donna got this from a garage sale for 25 cents, and this sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Oh, we gotta see where these things went because I would fail and Donna would be disappointed if I didn't follow through with our map. First one, the books go to Kansas. Kansas is already colored. And then the cricket, that is going to New Mexico. You know what? Boom, New Mexico right there. Okay, guys, I'm going to literally not color outside the lines today. I promise. Let me make a little mark on New Mexico. It looks like it's going to have to be pink. We'll make a nice big X, and then later I'm gonna color and I am not going outside of the lines. Okay, next up, back to the flashlight drawer. These flashlights are selling really good, guys. I'll pull one flashlight out, and that leaves three left. I kind of think it says we only have two left. I'll have to check, but another $12.99, no, $11.99 flashlight. And that is going to California, which is already colored. Yeah, I am showing there's only two left, but I actually have three. So let me check on the computer and double check. Oh, funny story. <laughs> I just checked. That's because we have two flashlights going out today. Let me grab the other one. <laughs> All right, now we have two left for sale. Two more going out today, $11.99 each. And the second one is going to New Jersey, which is already colored. And I just scratched my finger and it's got just a hint of hint of blood on there. See, I get no Donna and I get injured right away. I hope I survive and make it, but if I don't make it, Donna, I love you. All right, next up is in box A, way up high up there. In box A, we have this Star Wars little Millennium Falcon and Han Solo, and this is Brand new, the box is pretty trash, but it sold for $14.99 plus shipping. And that was one of our kids's, and he didn't ever open it because he hates Star Wars and Legos. Actually, that's not true. He really likes Star Wars and Legos, just uh, kept it for whatever reason. All right, next up in box 97. 97. Which, so this is our clothing. Remember when we had clothes upstairs? This was. We would have this all the way to like here, full of clothes, and we just haven't been listing clothes. And so this one has clothes, but it could be consolidated more. And we only have clothes going to about there. So we actually started numbering boxes down here to list and put things in because I got tired of always trying to find place to put stuff. Here's box 97. And in box 97 right here, there is a, what do you call this? It's an isomatic ice grinder crusher thing. See? 
can grind your ice right there. That was part of the 247 buyout, $247 buyout, and it sold for $29.99, and it is going to Ohio. Right here next to it, what do we have here? MRE. And this MRE is chicken noodles and vegetables and sauce. And this is going with one of our thicker, better stickers. This is going to Shanna in Kansas. Shanna was the winner of this in Grams and Pops' live on Sunday night. So we did that giveaway. So thank you for watching their live, Shanna. Hope you enjoy the MRE. Maybe you can even film it and put it on YouTube for us to watch. All right, next up was another garage sale find from just recently, and it is in box 34. You know, I never would have known that old underwear is such a thing, but $19.99 right here. Paid two bucks for them, and they sold for $19.99, and they are going out to Washington, which is already on the board. Since we opened this box, I'll give you an update on this old Lakers hat from the 90s that is on auction. I won't explain everything again, but it has a few issues on it, but I put it on auction. It'll end on, I think, Sunday, no, Saturday, and it is currently at, I don't know if you can see that, but it is at $127.50. It has two days and 22 hours left, and it has 42 watchers, and I don't know why my phone, why my GoPro just won't focus on things when I want them to. So that is a lot of fun. Uh, side note, so at that auction, that garage sale, I think I talked about this in one of our garage sale videos, them hats I paid 50 cents a piece for, and I got a bunch of them. I haven't done anything with the rest of them. They're nothing else special like this because I want to actually like try to clean them, form them, whatever. But I also bought, they had a bunch of rock and rap CDs, which could have been really, really good. And another stupid mistake by me, I was caught up in the, you know, hey, there's really good stuff here, everything else, like... I don't remember what I paid for it. There was like 40 rap CDs, rap and rock CDs, and I bought them for 50 cents each. She sold me the whole box for $18, and there was probably at least 40 of them in there. And I looked at one, and I thought, that looks pretty good. A few light scratches, but pretty good. You guys, you'd think I'd know better. They, just, they look like almost all of them. I threw away... All of them but maybe 10 they look like their kids just used them for frisbees in a gravel parking lot and they're not very good at catching so you know a waste of money kind of I mean I listed one there's I have a lot on right now that are in good condition I threw away the ones that are crap I listed a lot on dollar auction they're at like a dollar or something right now but then I did list one on eBay for $20 so it's pretty rare and it's in pretty good shape but I looked at one instead of looking at all of them whatever you know live and learn one of these days i'm gonna learn to just look everything over but not that day but what i wanted to say about it is you know what i got kind of burned on the cds by my own fault but you know what that hat was at that garage sale too so that i'd say would more than make up for it so it's all right should i do like commonwealth does now and like do all these angles since i'm by myself like he films you know it'd be like hey everybody here we go you know and we love commonwealth picker commonwealth flipper don't get us wrong kevin we love him he's very very seems like a really nice dude people we know that have met him say that he's as nice of a dude as you think he might be so but yeah he always starts he's always like all right here we go you know he's like all over the place or whatever but anyway no i'm not gonna do that and it's not a shot at kevin we really like kevin next up in the dvd cabinet we have this actually came from upstairs because this was part of that $700 buyout. It is a DVD and it is new sealed and it sold for $10 plus shipping to a repeat buyer. Don't know what else they bought, but if it's repeat recently, it'll already be on our map and it's going to New York, which is already done. What do we have on the map here? Alaska. Utah, Wyoming, Montana, North Dakota, Minnesota. Minnesota, I thought we had. Maybe we don't. Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Vermont, New Hampshire. That's really not bad for, it's May 6th. And what we started this May 6th, and what day is it now? May 22nd when I'm filming this. So 
yeah if you do math that's just a couple weeks and we're down to one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve states left so we got 38 and this one we're coloring today so that's really not bad you know in just a couple weeks to cover that many states all right next up is one of those sales where i wonder if donna really loves me or if she just likes punishing me because she sells a lot of breakables you guys we grabbed box 96 because it's too heavy for me to film in carry what do we have in box 96 well glad you asked because in here oh, please bag don't give out on me let's take a look all right in here is a set of 18 different sized plates so there should be six of each they're corel they call them chutney chutney pattern there's six of those six of those and six dinner plates right there so corel is not highly breakable so as long as i like like i'll put i got like foam paper i'll put it just weaving in and out in between all the plates and then i'll have it all together i will wrap it at really tight so they can't move and then i'll give it a lot of bubble wrap this is one where i'll probably use more bubble wrap than i should but you know i don't want to break these because these sold for 55 dollars and they are going to minnesota so yeah we just talked about minnesota i thought we might have had it and now we're going to what color do we need here it looks like purple and purple it is if you watch all our videos you can tell there's a definitely a theme like we sell quite a few things and you know what most of them are stuff we listed in the last few weeks that's why we have to keep listing because how do you sell a lot you list a lot all right next up we have a lego instruction book that we got a lot of them for a dollar or something no it was a five dollar lot in bella vista and this is the second one we sold. It sold for $10. Let me find the Millennium Falcon Lego book. All right, I found that book. It was upstairs, way, way upstairs in my office because I haven't done enough stairs yet today. Keep doing them stairs. And I found it, and right there, that book is $10 plus shipping, and it is going to Colorado. When we finish the map and we're not going through this where it's going thing, is anybody going to miss it? Is anybody paying attention and watching to see us fill up the map anything like that it's kind of curious all right next up we got another breakable that donna listed because she loves me in box v all right box v right here ray dunn donna really likes the ray dunn stuff and this is a t jar and she got it for a dollar at a garage sale and it sold for 15 dollars plus shipping and it's going to california Okay, next up we have that item that sold in nine minutes. And so before I show it to you, I do want to ask, if you're a reseller that watches this, have you ever posted anything knowing it would sell pretty fast and take a note of the time? Because I'm just curious, maybe it's just me. But two weeks ago when we sold that camera in like less than a minute, um, that made me get to thinking when I listed this item and I thought, you know what, I bet this sells fast too. The sell-through rate was there was like 50 listed and like, I don't remember how many sold. It was like 600 or 800 or something. So I knew it was going to be fast. Do you have any guesses on what it is? Well, if you guessed another Canon PowerShot camera, you would be correct. We have right here, this is the one we got in that 247 buyout that didn't have a charger. I ordered a charger. This is a Photoshop PowerShot SD 1300 IS camera. I ordered a battery charger off of eBay. Got it, charged battery, tested it, and then I listed it for $134.99. Did not turn on offers because I knew it would be a fast seller, and it was nine minutes, and it sold. So this is going out. This is like the newest, newest like bolo thing. You know, it used to be that we'd look for the TI-84 Pluses. You know, that's like the one thing you're kind of always looking for. These cameras, man, these Photoshop elves, they're such good sellers. So anyway, that is, yeah, $134.99, and that is going to Arizona, which is already on the board. So yeah, I mean, that was part of that buyout, and that was one of the part of that buyout that made us do the buyout, if you saw that video. Um, we were disappointed with a lot of other things that we got there, but 
glad this worked because I helped recoup a good portion of our money back. Next up, we have a DVD that we got uh, for free. Somebody was just giving their old DVDs away and there was kind of some rare stuff in there and this was in there. This right here, I don't know what it is. La, La Damnation de Faust. I have no idea what this is, but it's old. I don't know what it is, honestly. Legend, Legendary Dramatic in Four Acts. I don't know if it's a play. It's a video of a play. I don't know. Anyway, it sold for $12.74 plus shipping, and it is going to Tennessee. Tennessee. Okay, next up, a while back, at a garage sale, I bought some train stuff for just a couple bucks and sold one of the train cars and other stuff on dollar auction. And there was a standards gauge, which I'd never heard of, but it was sitting in the bag too. And that is in box V. Back to box V. And it is in this little envelope, way in the corner here. This right here is a standards gauge. Never heard of it. I don't know nothing about it. But it's this piece of metal right there. And so that sold for $10. I had it listed for $15. And I ain't going to lie to you. I'm going to be honest. I had it listed for $15. We got an offer for $10. When I got the offer, I thought about counter offering for $12.50. I mean, it's only a couple bucks, but, you know, it's only listed for $15. And then I looked and saw where it's going. And I took the $10. Why? Because of the board. <laughs> it's going. This is going to Canada. And so I thought, we don't have a Canada since we did this. So instead of trying to get a couple more bucks, I get to do Canada. Now, I didn't plan on doing Canada when Donna's not here. So I'm going to have to A, spell it right, and B, try to make my writing legible so I can put Canada on the board. And we got one more thing to show you here in box LX. All right, here in box LX, we have a set of school days uh book bookends right here there's one and there's the other they're like school desks and those sold for fifteen dollars and 86 cents they were actually donna's mom's and 1975 i think this says Inesco. and so they are going to illinois so that's the last thing that sold as of right now that I have to ship out now. So I'm going to scribble within the lines on the board, get Canada up there, show you that. And I'm going to wrap this up so I can get this stuff to the post office. It's crazy. I remember when we first started doing YouTube and I was so nervous to film. Don and I both were, and we we're so nervous and, you know, oh, what if we look like idiots or what if whatever, whatever, we want people to like us, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And now, like, I don't care about filming. Like, I just grab a camera and I'm just going to film. But coloring these states in, I'm nervous. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I started Mexico, New Mexico, sorry, not Mexico. And if you look right there, like, I'm trying really hard. I got a little pink on the orange there. Don't tell Donna. I'm going to try really hard to not... Get outside the lines but i'm more nervous for this coloring than i am for putting myself on youtube <laughs> okay i got the board colored um first of all new mexico looks fine i think minnesota is pretty dark purple compared to the others so it's trying to get it all colored in and canada looks like it's like looks like the blue is like dripping like kind of like blood on the letters or something like what a mess but it's on the board, so everything is on the board. I think that's it. It's about enough of me rambling. Hey, if you guys have a sticker, if you're a reseller and you have a sticker, if you want a sticker, send us a message, send us an email. There's our link tree in the description. If you want us to send you a sticker, like we're gonna send one with the MRE, um, let us know. Contact us through Instagram or something. We don't we're not very good at Instagram, but we will get the message So we will send you out a sticker if you want one I um, think that's it. Thank you all for watching I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna go garage selling tomorrow So I'm not quite sure if I'll show a haul or if I might wear a camera We'll just see what the mood is like and we'll just see what's what the future holds next Oh real quick. Thank you to Carrie and Jim. They invited us yesterday morning We went to a local real estate office here and there was about 15 to 18 realtors and they had us speak about our clean out services so that if they come within 
come across a client with a house and needs it emptied or something like that like what services we offer so don't know if anything will come of that but that was really cool for them to invite us in and to speak about our business and about a little bit about what we do so thank you very much to carrie and jim shout out to you guys for trying to help us in our little business out thank you all for watching appreciate you you guys are the greatest and we'll see you on the next one for donna who is not here i'm steve happy our treasures out Holy cow, I get to shipping. I got my first three shipping things done and I'm just like, do do do. And all of a sudden it popped in my mind like a light bulb. Poof. I forgot the Bonanza order. I gotta show you the Bonanza order. So this is our second order on Bonanza. And I didn't think about it because it's back here hidden in the corner. Way back in here. Here is, let's pull this out to the light. This is a Louisville Slugger commemorative Chicago Cubs uh, bat here. Five of a kind bat. Mark Pryor, Zambrano, Clement, Wood, and Maddox bat. So this sold on Bonanza for $67.72. I have no idea how it ends up at $67.72. It was $69.99 on eBay, but Bonanza. Yay Bonanza for the win. And this was my mother's bat. So I was selling it for her. So yeah, yay Bonanza. All right, that's all. Carry on. Thanks for watching. Bye.